for the next session is going to be doing something similar to what we did last session for exploring the areas that are related to uh, the last time we discussed about the occipital cortex this time we are going to explore the areas that are related to the uh, auditory uh, cortex the, the last session was, was, was visual this one is about auditory so you are going to uh, I, and I brought the details in terms of you are going to compare these uh, these parcellations probably in one two different atlases to, and compare them together and having a sense about what are the parcels that are involved in, in the in the auditory processing. One of the things that would make things a little bit more complex here, even in the textbook, in this chapter, there are areas that are named by different methods. So sometimes you have one area that is being named in two, three different ways. And there are some technical reasons behind that, but that would make things a little bit complex. I want to kind of ask you to try to even bring those complexities in terms of, okay, it seems that they have one area that sometimes is being called X and sometimes it's being called Y. Sometimes we call that planum temporal and the other times we call it another kind of cortex. So why these things are that much, that much complex? And there are some inconsistencies between different atlases for that. So that is going to be your, your challenge for, for next session. So please spend time for that. Realize over time those challenges are going to really help you to be able to to develop skills to to have a kind of deep understanding about these processes, uh, I received kind of an email from uh, from Mr. Amir Hossein Dakhili on uh, brain on, on atlases. Uh, Amir Hossein, are you available right now to to discuss about that? Could you share the link with others? Go ahead, Amir Hossein. Just give people an idea what you have done, and then how people can use that for for their their homework next session. So. Go ahead and give us a, a sense about the, the atlases that you have collected in the sheet. Yes, sure. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm Amir Hussein from FCNS team. And uh, to tell the truth, the last week's homework that was about brain atlases, uh, I just provided a, a database uh, included of uh, about 35 brain atlases uh, that are totally included with SPM and FSL, which are analysis tools of uh, fMRI. And uh, you can find so many information about these uh, 35 brain atlases there, uh, as coverage of them, uh, the region brain atlases, and also uh, the related papers and the official sites and uh, the loping sites of these brain atlases. Um, but I highly uh, recommend you to just join me and as I provide the link for you on the uh, Telegram group and Telegram channel, uh, you can just share your comments and ideas with me um, as there are lots of many other atlases. Uh, you can join and uh, just comment your ideas and uh, maybe we have uh, we can have another atlases too. That is good to, to, to know. And you will share the, the, the link and those who are interested, they can just basically add, even there are, if they found the other atlas, they can add that to that sheet. So uh, people can kind of contribute to that, the long list of different atlases and they can use those atlases as well. So I'm here to answer questions, but those who are exhausted, they can leave us and uh, enjoy their time. So hopefully see you next time, next week, uh, with a good spirit and uh, in a really healthy way. So see you. Take care and have a good day.